today we're going to demonstrate how to remove a surface mount device from a PC board using a product called ChipQuick. Um, that it makes it very easy to remove a surface mount device without needing the use of a hot air tool. So anybody with a standard soldering iron can remove a surface mount device without the risk of pulling pads, which is normally the problem with using a standard iron to do this operation. I'll be using the Circuit Specialist uh, CSI Station 3 DLF to perform this operation. Uh, it has three presets. I like to use the 400 degree preset for this particular type of board and uh, IC device. Now the chip quick itself uh, consists of three parts. Uh, the first is a tube of flux. Uh, it's a no-clean paste flux. The second is a special alloy, which is uh, tip quick, chip quick's name to fame here, that provides a very low melting temperature for the solder on the board. And finally, uh, they provide some alcohol pads to clean off the board uh, afterwards to prep it for reinstalling the device. So the first operation is to apply a liberal amount of flux to both sides of the device, basically covering all the leads. So I'll do this first. Now it doesn't matter how much we use, we're going to clean it off afterwards anyway, so it's not uh, a problem if it's a little messy. The next operation is once our iron is up to temperature, as we can see it is, is to apply the special alloy, basically just short it all, all across all of the leads. So I'm just going to melt it across the leads. Now it gets all over the place, and so it's a little hard to control, but as we'll see later, this doesn't really need a whole lot of control. So once I get a, a liberal amount of this special alloy on it, and I move it around to all the leads, I should be able to lift this part up fairly easily. Should be able to knock the excess solder off the board fairly easily. Also, notice there's a couple of balls of solder left. We'll go ahead and remove that now. Uh, most of the ones or the solder balls are just peeled right off because this stuff has is a very low temperature alloy and it's not made to stick. So I'm able to remove most of it just with my fingertips. Whatever's left now, I can go ahead and use uh, solder wick to remove any excess amounts that may be left over. I'll also clean off the solder pads so that they'll be nice and smooth when I get ready to reapply the device. So I'll just carefully brush off any excess solder that happen to remove, remain on the pads with the solder wick. And what it does, it leaves nice, uh, clean, smooth surface mount lamp. At this point, I'll go ahead and get some alcohol. Uh, instead of using the alcohol prep pads, I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, Q-tip and some bulk alcohol here to clean off the flux that I uh, put on the device earlier. Sometimes it'll take a couple of times to get this. We're going to clean it off again after we reinstall the device anyway, so it's not a big deal that whether you get it all off or not. But as you can see, the excess flux comes out pretty easy. Um, and since it's alcohol, it uh, air dries within a few minutes. So once I do that, as you can see, the pads are nice and shiny, nice and smooth, ready to reinstall the device. 